Tonight for dinner, we are making Mississippi pot roast, mashed potatoes and corn, and also a side salad. This recipe is so easy. All you need is ranch seasoning, brown gravy mix, butter, pepperoncinis, and some roast. We are a family of six, four of which are boys, three of which are teenagers. So I tend to make a larger amount and I double up the sauce recipe. So I'm going to do two packs of brown gravy mix. You're just going to sprinkle it right on top. My husband likes to take lunch in his crock pot, so any leftovers he'll take to work. Then I'm gonna do four tablespoons of the ranch. I know it might seem excessive, but really it's not once the gravy starts coming together. I'm gonna put one stick of butter on top. Just sit it there. And then I'm gonna do four pepperoncinis. Just put it right on top there. high for four hours. I'm going to put this on high for a couple hours and then I'll switch it to low. So right now I have it, I'll put it on for two hours on high and then I will switch it to low in two hours. This has been cooking for an hour and a half now. It smells incredible. It, oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat this later. It's so good. cooking they're almost done on a plate I have cream cheese and butter they're softening that makes an awesome mashed potato and in this little ramekin I have butter fresh garlic parsley salt and pepper I'm gonna pop this in the microwave and this is gonna go on our corn this is gonna be going in my salad so I'm just gonna cut little pieces off In my mixer, I have eight ounces of cream cheese. I also have half of a stick of butter. And then I also added in some of this borzen cheese tonight. I have to use this up, so I'm just gonna put this in there. I like to put the stuff on the bottom because then when, when I add the potatoes in, it, the heat will start to melt the stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it on. salt when I start since I salt the water when they're cooking and then I'll go back and add more if it needs it. I'm doing some black pepper and then I also like to add in some white pepper. I shut the mixer off for this because sometimes I add too much and then I have to get a spoon and then take it out so so just a little bit. Okay I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to add in some granulated garlic. Now I'm just gonna scrape down the sides and then I'm gonna turn it back on. But usually I don't have to add milk to this because of the cream cheese and the butter. It's creamy enough. So I'm gonna just put this on high. Mix up. Now I'm just gonna taste it to see what the, if it needs salt. 
All right, it needs a little bit of salt. And it needs a little bit more garlic. You can see how creamy these are. I have my corn here. This is just frozen corn that I cooked. And then, like I told you earlier, this is the butter, parsley, and garlic. If you guys like garlic, I highly suggest you try doing this. I do this for my corn on the cob as well. It is so good. It really just steps the corn up a level. It's just unbelievably delicious. It is so good, guys. The meat is ready. It smells so unbelievable. this up and get it plated guys this is so you should see the juices are just running right off it so good it is so juicy Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to the next video. Bye.